Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hi everyone. My name is Dr. Mama Azrin bin Ahmad and I'm from Center for Mathematical Sciences. By the end of this video, you as a student should be able to find equation of a plane and also solve problem related to plane in three-dimensional coordinate system. Before we go further, I would like to explain how the equation of a plane is formed by using this illustration. Right now, let's try to imagine the question asks us to determine the equation for this particular plane. Before that, I would like to ask you to imagine there are two points that lies on the plane. And those two points, we will call it as point P0 and point P. Point P0 consists of coordinate X0, Y0, Z0. Meanwhile, point P consists of coordinate X, Y, and Z. When we have these two points that lies on the plane, we can always find position vector of point P0. Right now, I'm going to connect between the origin and that particular point P0 so that I am able to determine the position vector OP0. The position vector of OP0 is as simple as OP0. Or we can... Uh, give some label to it and we will call it as vector R0. As always, vector R0 consists of X0, Y0, and Z0. Alright, after that, I can always find another position vector of point P and that vector I'm going to call it as vector OP or I can label it as vector R. And vector OP is equal to vector R. And the component of vector R is X, Y, and Z. Alright, so right now, I can always find another vector on the plane. And I'm going to call that vector as vector P0P. Vector P0P is vector that lies on the plane. Alright, so right now, let's try to use the knowledge of triangle law of vector addition such that vector R is equal to vector R0 plus vector P0P. Therefore, vector P0P is actually vector R minus vector R0. Before this, when we talk about how to form equation of a line in three-dimensional coordinate system, we always search for vector parallel. Right now, when we are talking about equation of a plane, we have one information such as when we have this plane, we can always find vector that is orthogonal to the plane and that vector we will call it as normal vector and this normal vector consists of component a b and c all right by using the properties of orthogonal vectors we know that the dot product between two orthogonal vectors will always become zero so right now we will know for sure vector that lies on the plane is vector p not p which has been uh, represented by vector R minus vector R0. So right now, um, we know that the dot product between two orthogonal vectors will always give us zero vector N dot with vector R minus vector R0 will always give you zero since both of them are orthogonal to each other. Right now, let's try to determine the equation by using the vector equation of a plane such as vector n consists of a b c meanwhile vector r minus r naught consists of x minus x naught y minus y naught and z minus z naught equal to 
0. So I'm going to perform the dot product according to the component. I will get a times x minus x0 plus b times y minus y0 plus c times z minus z0 equal to 0. This is what we have been showing in this slide presentation. So basically, the equation of a plane can be uh, written as ax plus by plus cz plus d equal to 0 where d is equal to negative ax0 plus by0 plus cz0. Okay, I'm going to put negative outside of the bracket. Alright, so this is how the equation of plane is formed by using what I have explained earlier. Now, let's take a look at this question where they ask you to determine the equation of the line by using the information of the plane. Alright, so let's try to illustrate the problem into some figures. Okay, imagine you are given with equation of this plane and then the equation of this plane is 2x minus 3y plus z is equal to 1. And at the same time, the author did mention in the question that the line will be passing through point Q that consists of 1, negative 5, and 3. And at the same time, the line is orthogonal to the plane 2x minus 3y plus z is equal to 1. So let me use this color to illustrate the line. So this is the line. Basically, we will know for sure. In order to determine the equation of a, a line, you have to recall the vector equation of a line, which is r is equal to vector r0 plus t vector v. This is vector equation of a line. So you have to determine what is the point that lies on the line, which in this case is 1, negative 5, and 3. And that point will become your vector R0. 1, negative 5, and 3. And at the same time, you are required to determine what is the uh, parallel vector of this line. Hence, by using this information, which is the line is orthogonal to the plane, we can roughly say that the vector orthogonal to the plane is vector parallel to the line. And normal to the plane is equal to vector parallel to the line, which is 2, negative 3, and 1. Okay, by using this information, you can simply uh, put into the vector equation of a line to determine the equation of the line that is orthogonal to the plane. Vector R is equal to vector R0 plus T vector V. Vector R0 is 1, negative 5, 3. And vector parallel is 2, negative 3, 1. So what should I do right after this? I need to write it either in vector equation of a line, parametric equation of a line, or symmetric equation of a line. So I'm going to choose to represent the answer in parametric equation of a line. Therefore, my x is equal to 1 plus 2t, y is equal to negative 5, negative 3t, and z is equal to 3 plus t. So, that's all for this question. Now, let's discuss about this example. I'm going to explain question B. 
All right. The question asks you to determine the equation of a plane given that the point that lies on the plane is point P, 1, 1, negative 1. And at the same time, the normal vector, which is vector orthogonal to the plane, is given as 1, negative 2, 3. Okay, let me write it back to you. Okay, we have this information, point P, 1, 1, negative 1. And at the same time, vector orthogonal to the plane is given as negative 1, negative 2, and 3. Okay, in order to solve this problem, you have to remember the vector equation of a plane such as vector n dot with r minus vector r naught equal to 0. So let me rewrite this one instead of capital N to small n. And then you can simply put into the vector equation of plane formula, I will get negative 1, negative 2, 3 dot product with x minus 1, y minus 1, and z plus 1. So what I'm going to do right after this, I have to multiply it according to the component, which is negative 1 times x minus 1 plus negative 2 times y minus 1 plus 3 times z plus 1 equal to 0. I will get negative x, negative 2y plus 3z. After that, positive 1, positive 2, positive 3 equal to 0. So I will make sure um, the constant is at one side, the variables is at one side. So I will get negative x, negative 2y plus 3z um, plus 6 equal to 0. Negative x, negative 2y plus 3z equal to negative 6. So this is how you find vector equation of a plane so that you get the equation that represents the plane. Alright, the next example asks you to determine standard form of equation of a plane given that the plane contains these points such as point P, negative 1, 2, 1 and then point Q, 0, negative 3, 2 and point R, 1, 1, negative 4. So right now, you have to remember when you have these points that lies on the plane, you can always you make use of these points to, to form vector that lies on the plane. Alright? So right now, let's imagine okay, you have these three points that lies on the plane. Okay. By using the information or the illustration given in the slide presentation, the normal vector, because right now you have to remember vector equation of a plane requires you to find point that lies on the plane and at the same time vector orthogonal to the plane. And I'm pretty sure for this particular question, you won't have difficulties in order to determine points that lies on the on the plane such as you have three points right now you are left with information to search for um, vector orthogonal to the plane and according to the illustration vector orthogonal to the plane can be obtained by using this expression such as vector pq uh, cross product with vector pr all right you can always have this combination to determine vector orthogonal to the plane such as vector QP cross product with vector QR or you can have RP cross RQ. It doesn't matter because towards the end, this expression will give you vector orthogonal to the plane. Alright, so right now what should I do? 
according to what has been suggested to us. Uh, let's use the first expression to determine vector orthogonal to the plane. So right now, you have to find what is vector PQ first. Vector PQ can be determined by having point Q minus point P accordingly. So I will get, okay, let me list the points first. Negative 1, 2, 1. But, uh, point Q is 0, negative 3, 2. And point R is 1, 1, negative 4. Therefore, PQ, 0, minus, minus 1, negative 3, minus 2, 2, minus 1. And my answer will be 1, negative 5, 1. Vector PR. Vector PR can be obtained by having point R minus point P. In this case, I will get 1 neg minus negative 1, 1 minus 2, and negative 4 minus 1. And then I will have 2, negative 1, negative 5. And then what should I do with this information? I have to find vector n, and vector n can be found by having cross product between vector PQ times vector PR. So I'm going to have this kind of arrangement as if I'm trying to look for determinant of 3 by 3 matrix when I try to determine the cross product of a vector that lies in 3 dimensional coordinate system and then I will put the information 1, negative 5, 1, 2, negative 1, negative 5 and then I will get I which is negative 5 times negative 5 minus minus 1 times 1 minus j 1 negative 5 minus 2 1 plus k 1 times negative 1 minus 2 times negative 5 and then I will know that I will get I 25 plus 1 minus J negative 5 negative 2 plus K negative 1 plus 10. So my final answer will be 26 negative negative positive 7 and 9. Alright, right after I managed to get the vector orthogonal to the plane, what should I do right after this? I have to pick a point that lies on the plane. So let's say I'm from point, from point P, R0 is equal to, vector R0 is equal to, negative 1, 2, 1. Then recall vector equation of a plane such as vector n dot with vector r minus vector r naught. I will get 26, 7, 9 dot product with x plus 1, y minus 2, and z minus 1 go to 0. So I hope uh, you can use your own calculator to solve this problem. So this is how you solve problem when the, the information given to you such as three points that lies on the plane.